Everybody, we're in round seven of the biggest risk tournament ever put together, the Kill Pete Open. Number two, uh, we are trying to fight through to the always coveted round eight. So we've got a lot to play for here. We've got a fantastic lobby that we're competing against. And we need basically a win, maybe second in a bounty or something. Could Well, second in a bounty is not a thing, I guess, unless you lose to the... Uh, Unless you lose to the zombies. Alright. We've got everybody in. They've all checked in. We are good luck. Have fun. We'll go through the players in just a second. I'll go through the settings. But for now, let's play some Risk. Here we go. Round 7 of the Kill Feed Open. I'm at Mitch on Risk. Streaming here on Twitch. And posting these on YouTube. Uh, for your enjoyment at the game of Risk global domination we'll see how we can do here we're playing reverse world progressive cards with zombies in a tournament format there's no fog but alliances are on um, unstable portals also will be really important on the map uh, to be able to jump around there is no are no blizzards either so we've got zombies we're third in turn order a pretty good spot in turn order overall um, I'll go through the bonuses and the players in just a second I want to watch this first zombie turn just to try to get a basis for the map so they've got a pretty big stack there in the middle. I've got a left corner spot, which is nice. I'll try to make the map as visible as possible. This is a tough one because this map is giant. So we'll do something like this. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so we've got nothing up top. So there are unstable portals, so you'll have a chance to maybe move some stuff around. But nothing up top originally really for me, unless I can get that two up to the top right corner, which I'd like to. Having a top right and a bottom left would be nice. But you don't, so you, so zombies is critical because you can't create too many positions because you won't be able to defend yourself, especially if they get hit hard early. Chaos using his time to think here. I think I added my two up in the top right. Hit here. I think this three is okay. If I don't want to lose it, it's too risky to possibly lose it. I'll get you in a second, Chaos. And I'd kind of like to move that three back in, but I don't think I'm going to get to, so I'm going to have to just add... Ugh, there's a zombie two here. If I add one, that gives it three, and the zombies aren't going to add a four there, so I think it'll be okay. Let's see if we can keep as many of these spots as possible. So the idea is somehow I combine this eventually. I hold this three on the, on the isthmus here. Uh, can be a super valuable spot on this map. The problem is I have a zombie 2 next to me. So for those of you unfamiliar how zombies work, they they hit when they're double the territory next to them and they have a predefined path that they go through um, on the map based off of the, the territory that they can attack. They can only attack if they're double and they roll really terribly because they roll with one less dice. So um, they can lose a, a 4 on 1 or, or something like that, even a 6 on 1. And when you roll them, you're less likely... Uh, to lose troops than if you rolled any other opponent. So in general, if you guys have followed me, you know uh, my tournament philosophy is take your bonuses when you can because people don't break as much in tournaments. However, this is zombies, so bonus taking is not going to be as realistic here. Um, and then my second piece is line up the person after you in turn order if you can um, focus on that because that's your most likely kill opportunity and obviously you adjust that if that person becomes really strong or something okay let's go through the players real quick we've got chaos playing as white he's the highest person in the tournament right now he's a grandmaster 1692 games played um and we saw earlier he's 169 of them me mitch on risk currently listed as a grandmaster deckle xp a master 198 games played 
Florida man, an expert. Florida man, an expert. 549 games played. And then waffling around. Uh, 389 games played. So two of my opponents are at 69 points. Very nice. One of them's at 71 points. Um, so they're all in kind of right around that 150th position. They all need a pretty medium or slightly above medium game uh, to really solidify going through. I need a big game to go through. Chaos is probably through to round eight either way, but if he has a big game, he's got a chance uh, to auto qualify. Okay, let's. The three here is the key for us. Oh, that was a big three to go out. Hopefully this six comes down. Ah, uh, he loses. Okay, so you see the, the zombies lose the six on two. Oh, they are hitting hard. We've gotten pretty fortunate with their padding so far. Chaos has gotten hit the worst. Zombies don't get bonus troops, just in case you're curious. They don't get bonus troops for that middle bonus. Okay, so what realistically can we hold? We can hold our corner fours, I think. And then we can work on solidifying this middle piece to some degree. I'd like to eventually get it into two spots. I don't know the best way to do that necessarily. I'd like to have four total spots on the map. I can add one here, attack up, fortify in, and then, a, no, I can't fortify, I can't do two fortifies, okay. I can add here and split up to the top and get a top middle position, or I can go get the zombie two. I think I do this. That gives me a four up in that corner as well. I don't think I'm going to keep this two in any world, but I could take this three and move it out here. So we're really in a four position play. The three and the five, I still, I couldn't do two fortifies in one turn. That's my only problem there. But I've got my fours in the corners, mostly. Uh, so that's a nice spot to be in to make myself hard to kill. But they're only fours. So at some point, those will become uh, zombie bait. Okay. Deckel XP again. That's who I would focus on, just because he's after me in turn order. I'm connected on the left just fine. We've got unstable portals, so there's some movement allowed. This bottom middle, we might, might both lose our spots. <coughs> At some point, this four I'm pretty connected to, this top middle is my problem in terms of connection to him, and that's where he's got his most troops. I, that's way down the line. That kill opportunity would be way down the line, but I just like to kind of keep it in mind as I'm making some of these early uh, fortifications and deployments. Okay, I've officially lose my top middle spot. No surprise there. We're in a good troop position before the zombies go here. We'll see how much we get taken out by the zombies. But we're at 27 right now. Okay, the max of zombies got is four anywhere. Loses a two on one, loses another two on one. Again, zombies don't roll very well. Loses a three on one, loses a two on one. Loses the four on two, but oh, I keep that position. I might try to make something of that position this turn. Okay, so if the zombies had three to their threes, my three is in danger. Kind of where I want to go, chaos. Okay. That th no, that three I'll fortify out. Do I want to? I want to come in. I think with it. 
No, I want to really come down. No, I want to go out. I'm going to go right. That's my plan. Okay. So I'm going here. I'm going to do an easy take, and I'm even going to create a trade position if these guys want to work together. We'll see how they react to this. Ooh, that three is not super strong. I don't love that that's the situation. I should have done that differently. Okay, I'm going to come over, though. Again, if black's my play, that top middle, I'm going to need some portal help and getting lucky uh, for that to be realistic. Let's see how many positions these guys are in. So Chaos has one, two, three, four, but he's got he's holding on one with a three, which is risky, obviously, just like I am. Deckel, one, two, three, four, five. He's in five positions. Which makes them harder to line up for me. And then blue, which is Florida Man. One, two, three. He's got a one and a one. Can he add something to that? He's got four positions. And he's got these two ones in the middle here. I'm waffling around one, two, three, four, five, six. But one's just held by a two. One's held by a three. So he's a little bit risky, but he's got a lot of positions. So everyone playing a lot of positions, as expected in this game. This zombie run might be critical on this turn. People, some, all these fours on the board should be safe. The threes are in some danger here. Florida man, or uh, waffling around is going to combine his two fours here, but he doesn't add this top middle two. I think that's a mistake. I think he's going to want that position later, just like I would have wanted mine when I lost that one up there. It's critical on this turn I don't lose this bottom middle three. Drastically changes the game if I lose it. <laughs> Should be okay. Again, zombies have to be double your territory count, your troop count, to hit you. Some of those ones at the top are gonna get cleared out. Red's gonna finally lose some of his ground. We're all gonna be further separated from each other after this turn. in here for you. Okay, so we kept the bottom middle three. We can't take that risk again. But look at the zombie seven here. This is a problem. Boy. This four is nicely tucked. I can leave it a four. I think this three I've got to add to. I gotta at least make it a four. But this four is the thing in big danger. Hmm. We're gonna hope that can hold. Hopefully I have an easy game. Ugh, what do I attack with? It's nice not to lose anything there. Alright, so we're, we're in a solid five position play, hopefully. That top right zombie stack is getting big.
Biggest stack on the board is, of course, next to me. Wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, we see a combine here from Dexel. He's got three of his stacks really close together down here now. They've kind of converged. He does have some stuff in between, but they're pretty close physically. They're in a line except for this blue four. Troop counts are pretty close across the board for everybody. Look at our territory counts. They're right even, super even. Uh, early start to this game. Chaos got hit a little harder than everybody else turn one. So he's been slightly behind and he's going to be first in turn order. So he's going to have a little bit of a uphill climb. But nothing too crazy. We've seen much crazier. Okay. This pocket down here in the bottom left is interesting. If this six moves down, it could be ugly. Oh, I lost my four. Okay, the nightmare has begun. Blue loses a four. We need the zombies to start smoking people. Oh, does blue lose that three? He does. Oh no. Florida man down to two posi three positions. We're in four. Eek. Not great, but could have been worse. So this path would go up through here. And then I'd come around to this. So, I mean, not anytime soon, but just looking at early pathing options for blue, who's going to be kind of weak. <laughs> Does he even trade on four here? Look at this stinking 10 stack of zombies here. Killer. That's a five. I can hit my four on one, but I gotta add to it if I'm gonna do that. He could add here though. I'd rather not hit that one if I don't have to. I can roll this eight on one, but then the zombies will be stronger next to me. It wouldn't have any other path out. Man, I just gotta hope for a really good roll. That was not a really good roll. Ugh. We're gonna lose that bottom middle position now. Trades will be next turn, so if I can somehow keep that fourth position, just get really lucky here somehow, I don't know exactly how that would work. <laughs> this huge zombie, all these zombies stacking over here on the right side has been the problem, because that's where I'm at. And red blocking me from getting out of there has also been tough to deal with. Black likes his little hidden spot there, which I would too. Blue had a really tough turn last turn. Maybe even trade on four territory. 
I don't think anyone's got enough troops to safely take him out, but he needs a good roll. He gets a good roll, okay. Ugh, this zombie turn's gonna be brutal. I'm gonna get this three taken out. I'm gonna be down to three positions. <laughs> So white's in one, two, three, four. Black is in one, two, three, four, five. He's still got his five, although two are in a straight line. And blue is in three. He's down to very low troops, but he's still in three positions. Maybe we get crazy lucky and the six hits the one and splits or something. No, we don't get that lucky. Tough. No way to protect them both. All right, so the four trade for chaos. We're down to 18, so we're just as bad of a position as Florida Man, really. How do we get back into this thing? The way we get back into it is by a path opening to Florida Man somehow for us. And that's not looking super likely. Oh, he's hitting a six through the portal because he wants that position that badly? Wild. He didn't lose anything? Ooh, I like that. Speaking of wild. Is it crazy to you guys that I just don't even look at my cards before that turn? <laughs> okay. This is all about staying alive here for a while. I think I just opened my path for chaos to kill me, but he's only two troops ahead of me. I don't think that's realistic anytime soon. I could be wrong though. I mean, I think he jumped through that portal to try to get closer to blue maybe, but it seemed more like he was trying to get close to me. He's lined up on me perfectly and I just opened that line even further. I'd love for black to come down with that seven, but I think he's going to go somewhere else with it. Just kind of spreads out his troops. Does he combine the seven and the eight? I think he does. Oh no. He keeps it split. He's trading with blue there. Red's alone on an island up in the top left. If Chaos trades on three, I trade on three. If he doesn't, I think about it long and hard. Doesn't anything to his five up top. Seems to be pathing more for the blue kill. Oh, 
They all are trained in this little pocket I can't get into. <laughs> Maybe we can get that zombie to use that portal next turn. He's going to start with a 9 there. That could be doable. I'm just refusing to be killed early in this game. I'd rather play the long game here. I'm gonna create a new pocket. Maybe these guys will play with me. My little pocket over here. Where we can maybe card trade, we'll see. Lost two? Unreal, okay. Let's hope the zombies cause some chaos jumping through, but does anyone have a, okay, blues portal? The only spot I could go. Okay, we get the trade from black. Makes me feel better about the trade. See if he wants to trade with me in this bottom left. We can be homies. Interesting Black's not combining there either. Maybe I'm incentivizing him to combine because he's got a new trading location. We'll see. He's in a great position on the board. Look, he's got 19 more troops than me. Wow, he is in a much better spot than I am. We in trouble, guys. Blue has no trade on three. He's probably in some danger there. He's going to jump me on troops, though, once he trades. I just couldn't stomach dying this early. Because I'm out of the tournament if I die that early. No questions asked. Three spots for blue, but he's in some nicely little protected area. A nice protected area here on the left side. He stays in the portal with an eight. So the zombie in the portal is not going to be too fun. We have a 69 alert, 69 alert, ladies and gentlemen, 69 alert. Way to go waffling around. <coughs> well done. Well done, good sir. Okay, guys. So waffling around's got this top left position. He's out on an island. And then Deckel XP has the 12 top middle. And Florida Man has the 11 middle middle. Those are kind of your three solo spots. There's some logic to taking out Chaos up top. <laughs> I thought he might be going for me, which would have been wild with one card. I'm going to leave that one there, though. Nobody trades with me, of course. No one wants to be my bud here. Chaos hits that one, I would take it. Oh, he doesn't. He goes to hit a zombie six instead of hitting a one next to me to give me a card. I guess I already had the card. Did you give me a cleaner card? Every troop counts.
Waffling around probably kills me when it becomes a trade for him. Chaos sitting on five cards. I didn't have the bottom middle play, but I could have gotten everything else from him. Surely one of these guys with 60-something troops goes and kills Chaos here. Declan would go up and around. He'd have to go through some pain to get to this, though. I think Waffling kills Chaos here. Pop, pop, pop. How's he get to this? He has to come through all this junk? Or he comes around the island? Yeah, he can take this down. This up and over. Oof. It's not easy. But for five cards at this point in the game, it's worth it. If Waffling can get Chaos, he needs to do it here. He can get it. He's got to come hit here, and then s this would have to come down somehow, or this comes up. Pop, go up, and clean up the seven. So he's got to take out these two sevens with a split off the 19, but he gets to add his troops here. Then he takes this 20, seven, seven, pop, pop. This cleans up the left side. You get 30 troops for taking out 29 plus some zombies and you get the points I don't think he's going for it though not going for it chaos gets to trade on five now can chaos get Florida man you go through here not easy there but he's connected here very easily zombies just get the one take I'm in two portals next turn. That's scary. <laughs> Can I get Florida Man? Pop. Oh, no. The portals aren't open. Okay. Chaos goes for Florida Man. 12 on 7. Gets it. Gets the kill. Well played, Chaos. He's at, so he's plus in troops off of that kill. He's only at 67, so he's not like going to snowball or anything off of that. He's at four cards though, which is nice. He'll be at five after his turn. I'm definitely the next fish. He's lining me up like I'm the next fish, which always makes you feel good. He's going to fortify the 17 up to be next to me. Just showing 100% who he's attacking next. Yeah. So when someone does this to me and just purely lines me up, it kind of makes me mad. Because <laughs> I'm just not going to sit there and just let you kill me like that. Terrible slow rolling. Is there any way out? Is there any way out of that kill? There's not, is there? So you just don't give him the trade. He can go for my kill if he wants, but I'm not going to give him the trade with it.
I know I keep saying it, but this is definitely the end of my kill feed open run. Uh, we're gonna finish uh, fifth here with no bounties. Of course, red could block here. That'd be an interesting play. He could only block so much, but it'd be interesting. I don't think he does in a million years, but that'd be awesome if he stays there. No. So we just see if it's worth it to chaos to get the bounty points, but not get a trade. He's got plenty of troops to do it. I think he kills me anyway. <laughs> just fine. Not great. Just didn't go the way we wanted. Chaos played a heck of a game. Chaos, best player in this lobby, based off of what I saw. So well deserving of his finish here. He's not going to get the trade in turn, but he's going to be on four cards. These other guys are going to be on three, and he's going to finish this game for sure. <laughs> Oh, he loses the roll on black. Okay, well, that's interesting. He decides to go for the black kill because of the uh, card trade. Okay, can we cause some chaos? No pun intended. Some problems here for chaos by creating some extra positions. So we run into this corner where only red can really get to us easily. The portal will be shut for white. Can someone else get me by then? I mean, it would be red. He would come across here. Getting to these ones for red is actually pretty annoying, though, before the zombies go. He can, but it's a very annoying kill for him. And we got cards on three, I'm sure. Oh, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Black retaliating against Chaos would be pretty cool to see here. Like a double tap on that 32 would be pretty epic. <laughs> hmm. He combines. Okay, the game got a little more interesting here. Oh, a 45 trade for red. Does he kill me for the three cards? I think he does. Yeah, I think red gets me. No, red still can't get to this bottom left. Oh, yeah, he can. Because white opened that up. Uh, or no, because black opened this up. Ugh, dang it. Oh, it's the, it's the kill on black we're going for. It takes the 35 down, but how's he get to the 16? Through me? Through the 9. Ooh, he needs some decent rolls going to lose a lot doing this. 20 on 16. Gets it. Takes the 35 down. It's not a trade in turn for him though. Not a trade in turn. Okay. This is kind of just like making the best of a terrible situation. What we've been doing here in the last few turns guys. Follow me for more loving risk tips. 69 troops, though. I mean, 
Get in the win, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're at 43. We're somehow still alive. A trade on three would have been so epic. Zombies are going to clean up a lot of the board here. <laughs> oh, that 32 falls in a perfect... Look at those portals that are going to be open for chaos in two turns. Top left's an interesting spot. Do you take out the red 10 knowing he's probably going to kill you anyways? Because I trade him in turn no matter what. Does Chaos get me here? He's got to go through a lot of zombies, but he could get to the 14. It's just a long way up there. He's going for it. Yeah, he's got it easily. All right, so Chaos gets the kill there. That's fine. Well played. He deserved it. We'll take a, a fourth place. At some point, that was the uh, the best case scenario for sure. I guess I could have card skipped again last turn, but I still had to play to have a chance. So take the card, hope for cards on three. Didn't get to use them anyway. And that's a GG's. Chaos gets the win. Weird delay there. He does. He gets the win. 26 on 21 for the win. Congrats to Chaos. Uh, super well played game. Uh, that's why that guy is uh, going to be already moving on to the finals. Uh, because he's, he's good. Uh, he had a really tough start actually. Um, in this game, I considered taking out his top position away from me, but I didn't think he was going to be strong enough to be a problem. Um, and boy, was I wrong. You always got to watch out for that person right in front of you in turn order. That's a tip that I would definitely, definitely recommend. Um, especially when you're playing in tournament games, uh, just assume that person right before you in turn order is coming to kill you and line up that person after you in turn order in general in a progressive game. Uh, that strategy works pretty well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this will officially be the end of my kill Pete open run. We made it to round seven of eight. Uh, before the the playoffs so uh pretty long run we made a uh, resurrecting run off the waiting list to get back into this thing see if you guys got anything in here before we go um red played that right good game man yeah thanks lebo lemon uh red could have won yeah i think red could have won also Oh, Steve Pye playing against Pete and Marin tomorrow. That should be a fun one. Uh, this was all my tournament lives. I would join my tournament. What do you mean, Andre? Just because they weren't going for it? You guys just think they were easy players to play or they weren't very, weren't very aggressive? All right. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, until next time, everybody. Uh, let's see what we can read out to. Until next time, everybody. I'm at Mitch on Risk here streaming live the game of Risk Global Domination for your enjoyment. Uh, this will be the end of our Kill Pete open run. But we had fun. Awesome tournament. Fantastic job by all the people uh, that spent all their time and effort putting this thing together. Uh, appreciate you in all that you did. Um, really cool event. And look forward to more of it in the future. Till next time, everybody. I'm at Mitch on Risk. Here for your enjoyment. And may your dice be nice. See you guys.